Hey guys, we are back with some brand new Aberration, and today we're going to be building our own little platform. Well, I've already built it, kind of, and I've already kind of laid down some foundations here to get going with what I'm thinking of doing. It's going to probably be not perfect, because I know that these things are definitely not lined up in the best way, but we're going to make it work, because I need railings, just in case I fall off during like an earthquake or something. Anyway, also we need to make this place Jim Bob proof because he might come over here at some point and I really, I don't want to be the cause of Jim Bob dying again and again. Uh, so yeah, anyway, today uh, we're going to be doing that. So I've got a bunch of stuff on me here and we're just kind of making a little bit of a setup. We might do something else later on, maybe go out and try to maybe tame something or something like that. Also, we have actually tamed ourselves an Anki. Um, I did that on camera, or I didn't do that on camera earlier. Uh, I just kind of was like running around with my crab for a little while and uh, we picked up this Anki and just brought him back and then I just literally knocked him out right there on the spot and uh, now we have an Anki. Super handy, super, super handy. Maybe what we'll do is we might actually use the crab to grab something else and bring it back. I'm not sure yet what we need because we actually have a Dodic now as well. She's got this dude. So uh, yeah, anyway, we're gonna get going with this here. So don't forget to hit that like button, guys. If you find yourself enjoyed this video at any point, really just help me out, we appreciate it. And uh, this is what we're kind of going for, just a basic base setup kind of thing. Also, I have changed the colors of my glow sticks to, I think this is silver. And the reason for that is because I honestly think the Siam was just like far too overpowering. And in this map, like, it's, it's it's very greeny, kind of bluey light and stuff like that. So I was thinking something more white would be a little bit nicer. So uh, yeah, now we have uh, the silver glow sticks. Also, if you guys are wondering how to get these things dyed up, all you gotta do is just make a dye and drag it onto a glow stick. And then if you want to, you can separate out your glow sticks. I'm not gonna do it because that would be a mess, but you know, you could separate out your glow sticks and like craft a couple more and they're gonna actually, you know what? I think I have stuff in here. We could probably do that. Let me see. You can just craft a couple more and they're just gonna stack right on top of that. So technically, you could keep a bunch of glow sticks just inside a chest, one of each color, and then just craft, take some out and then just craft some more. And then you're just gonna get like duplicates of the same color, which is super handy. So you only need one die as long as you keep one glow stick. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll stick some back in here cause I don't actually need all these on me. But um, just thought I'd let you guys know that little tip. Also, I might need some foods. Give me that, buddy. There we go. That will work for now. Awesome. All right. So what we're going for is a couple of these little railings going around the edge. We have a ladder that we're going to use to get back up to the top platform up there above us. Because, of course, like we're not going to move away. We're just going to kind of stay here. I just kind of want my own space to put my tames and... Pretty much just, you know, like hanging out and stuff up there. It's pretty difficult because everybody just dumped everything everywhere. So we're going to have our own little platform off to the side, which I think is a good idea. I mean, everybody could kind of make their own if they want to. But uh, yeah, we've got ours here. So I've already placed down these foundations, as I said. And I do have a gateway inside of the uh, Ravager over there, which we're probably going to use to set up some sort of zipline system. Uh, obviously using the gateway as the place that we attach the zipline to. So I think, yeah, let's start off with placing down these railings here. And I'm also going to want to start getting going with the way back up to the top. So I made up some ladders and some pillars and some hatch frames and stuff. We could do that now in a second. Do I have a climbing pick? I chucked everything of mine into him. There we go. Let me grab that on there. We need this for, for some stuff now in a minute to get back up there. Uh, so yeah, let's let's check down these these things and see how badly I placed down these foundations So obviously those two have snapped onto each other. This is the moment. Okay. Yeah, there's a pretty noticeable gap <laughs> Okay, that one's even bigger. <laughs> oh god, this is looking horrible already, but it's okay. You know what? It's not gonna it's not gonna matter too much. I mean, I hate these platforms I do have to say I 100% hate <clears throat> Losing my voice. I 100% hate the uh, the tree platforms in Ark. I think that they are the most useless things ever because they don't have snap points. This one here is really bad, actually. <laughs> they don't have snap points, which just really annoys me. Uh, this one here is also super bad. Um, I wish they I wish they did have snap points just on the edge or something. That would be super handy, like the S plus ones do. Ark, please just give us S plus. I want it. Um, okay, so I'm thinking with our zip line, it's either gonna go down there or it's gonna go, go like across there somewhere and then maybe over to the mainland because I don't really want to have to go across that water all the time. Super annoying. So we might have it attached to another tree platform on this metal thing in the water and then maybe have like that as like a 
kind of a I guess a spot where we just stop off and then we go from there to the uh to the grassland over there or something we'll see so I'll leave this thing here uh blank for now okay so actually you know what let's chuck down the thing right now let me chuck down this gate let me pop you there for the moment can I oh hey yeah we can snap this to the uh thingy sweet so the idea is that we're just gonna attach our zip line to the top there and we can basically just come right in with our ravager or not and then just kind of like zip line right down and we're gonna be safe we're not gonna be nearly falling down to the uh, ground down there so this is gonna be super handy let me drop these railings back in here we're not gonna need those and uh, what else do we need nothing else from in there I don't think let me check these guys back too okay so forges made up some forges pretty much just made up everything that we're gonna need um, I will stick you there for now we're gonna need this we're gonna need this I also made up some lights which we're gonna place down too uh, so where do we want our little workstation to be that's where the ladder is gonna come down and actually to be honest we should probably just do the ladder right now so let us chuck that dude up there so I don't know if this is gonna be like the best little cliff base location or not location cliff base uh, area but we'll, we'll kind of make it work as best as we can thinking if I was to place down a pillar in the center ish but bring it back a little bit I'm wondering if this is gonna work okay now let me go down there so I need to place one below that like so now let's get back up I want to see if I if I break this is the one below it gonna break hopefully not nice okay that's good uh, that's what we need so now we could just go like this and this and then we have our little our little way down so I just got to place down these ladders now and then we're good can I actually climb down and place them below me I can that is amazing <laughs> and we could just go from here so that's just a way up and a way down pretty freaking simple uh, can't go any further, but that's okay. We can get up here So that's gonna make it easy to get back up here um, Obviously, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's okay. It works Definitely works. So let's climb back down here for the moment. Hopefully nobody's tr gonna troll me and and like wind up this uh, <laughs> This freaking rope ladder or something at, at the top that would be really annoying But uh, yeah, we got our we got our rope ladder in place now We can kind of just see the amount of uh, space that we have to work with I can take that off actually I don't need to have that on don't know why I didn't take that off before so I'm thinking um, over here we, we should probably build our little our little workshop over here I'd say kind of line this up here a little bit uh, it's a little bit difficult to do let me see I want to try to line that up there uh, yeah that's good enough so I'll bring it back bring it over here maybe a little bit and then how is that bring it across actually let's just almost make this thing central I think that's gonna work a lot better sweet so we have our fabricator uh, where do I want to put my smithy now where is my smithy oh there it is okay I was getting confused there for a sec can I put a smithy right here let me see um, no that's not gonna work <laughs> this is not how it works is it Okay, hmm. Maybe if you jump up on top of this. Okay, let me. Can I get up on top of this fabricator? Is that gonna be a thing? Do I have to like climb my own fabricator? <laughs> okay, you know what? We could probably just like place it like right here, maybe. That's not too bad. I mean, besides the fact that it's floating, that's that's great. Look at that. Oh, fantastic! All of our stuff is floating. I I swear we're not cheating here. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's so stupid. That really is just so stupid. <laughs> okay, Ark. I got. I love you, Ark. You're great. Just keep doing what you're doing. Look at this. Fantastic. All right, so the table is obviously for some of these dudes. I couldn't remember if you could fit three or four of these down. So I made four. I think I might be able to fit four. We go... Eh, it's sticking off the edge a little bit, but it's fine. They're also floating, apparently. Um, so yeah, a little mortar pestle station here, and then what else did we want? Uh, I have some beds, I have some storage, which we're definitely going to need, a forge area, 100%. Uh, 
Alright, so Forge is probably gonna go, like, probably close to where we'll be coming in, but we're also gonna need storage chests down somewhere. Where do I want the storage to be? We could probably stick some of the storage, like, right here. Like, is that gonna work? Uh, it's gonna be super awkward to place this stuff down, right? Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Okay, that's... Mm, I hate this. Ark, just please change your ways. Just allow us to snap these to each other. Oh my god, come on. There we go, nice. Can we get this last one in? Oh, nice, they're in line, perfect. Awesome, okay. So Forge is probably maybe like over here or something. We'll probably get another Forge or two eventually, but this will do for now. Everything's just floating. <laughs> ah, you gotta love that. You just, you gotta love Ark. Look at that. Fantastic. All right, let's put you there. See how much nicer the white light is? Like, look at this. Just lights up the area a whole lot better. Like, look, it looks super bright now. I really like this. Okay, so we got our fabricator. We got all our stuff here, main crafting area. We got some storage. We got our forges. Uh, we need a bed area, so we'll probably just place that over here. I was gonna just place down a couple because we always get the issue of dying and then dying again and then dying again so we'll probably have to name these at some point do i have anything else on me here uh oh yes we wanted to place down lamps so let me see this is probably going to be pretty difficult uh okay so we're gonna try to get those like in this area here and maybe just like right up on the edge i don't know that might work so like so doesn't have to be perfect like none of this stuff here is perfect okay that's not gonna work there so we have to place it back here a little bit it's not the worst okay we're doing okay here all right so definitely these fences are getting in the way I don't think we have no clip on which we might need to turn on yeah this will be okay so uh, can we get another one in here perhaps yeah we probably can look at that that is amazing and back here maybe I did build eight with the intention to place down eight of them, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. Where was the last one? Going to go over here, right? Can we place one back there? Oh, we totally can. Look at this. Amazing. Oh, can we get that in there? Oh, my mouse is on the screen. How? There we go. Sweet. Okay, so now I got to do the wiring. There is a generator up there. I'm not sure if it's permanent. Hopefully it is. So we're just going to go with it. Um, we're going to grab some wires here. I don't know how far these things stretch actually is the only thing. It's been a while since I've used the legit vanilla um, kind of like uh, wiring systems here. So let me take a look at this. All right, let's turn that away. So it comes out from here. So if we, okay, if we go, if we go maybe, hmm, do we want to go down immediately? Can I make it go down? There we go. Let's go down from there. Nice. So now we can hop down here. We can run up this little hill and pull the wires from there. So what direction do we have to go with here? Okay. Um, I probably could have just tried to place down a straight one from there, but I'm going to probably need some wires going over that direction. Although, I don't know, actually. You know what? We're probably going to have to... We're gonna have to wait for this earthquake to go. You know what, guys? I'm gonna get this wiring done, and then I'll probably bring you guys back to uh, to kind of light this place up and make it uh, make it even prettier. Probably. I'm not sure if we're gonna like paint the place or anything. We'll see. Definitely see. Ooh, we gotta keep our eyes out for some goodies. No goodies so far. Okay. So now it's a matter of actually connecting these two. I've placed the platform over there. Let me see. It's kind of difficult when it blocks up the whole thing, but maybe if I shoot a little bit above, like right there. No, did that hit? What is that attached to? I can't even tell. I think it's attached to it. Let me see. Can I get a little bit higher? Right. There you go. Let's see.
Did that work? I think it worked. Let me go. Let me go see. Uh, I think we got it. I think we legit got that one. All right. Let's see. Nope. There we go. All right. So we want to get up to our spot. I think it worked. It looked like it worked. Yeah. I think it's definitely going from the two dino gates. Let me see. So we can we can just go like this, right? Oh, that is cool. That is so cool. This is a way of getting just completely across the uh, the lake. Is it going to this? It is going directly to this. Nice. And we can get up from here too, right? Yeah, we can. Sweet. Now the only issue is that we're not going to be able to get up there unless we have a ravager. Hmm. That's that's awkward. That's super awkward. No, we're not going to be able to. Uh, crap. Hmm. Oh, wrong button. Huh, how do we solve this? I mean, we could maybe, like, make a little platform here and have it so there's, like, maybe two foundations on, like, a ramp so you can jump up. I don't know. We're going to definitely have to look into that at some point. But, I, I mean, it works for now. Like, we can make this the Ravager route. I mean, you're not really going to be walking in and out of here without your Ravager anyway, so you're not going to be ziplining without him, so that's uh, that's not really going to be too much of an issue, I don't think. Um, we're going to go from here, then, with this next gate. I do have to go make another gate, so we'll have to do this in a minute. Let me get that down there. Nice. Let me pop this guy up here. Sweet. Yeah, look at this. And then we're just probably going to place the other gate down there that, by those rocks, uh, which is super handy as well. Because and I do want to mention, a lot of people have been asking, like, how are we getting the metal? Like, I know I know metal is, like, difficult to find on this map. But when you do find it, like, it's in abundance. Like, there's a couple metal nodes over here. We have some metal down below our base here. I believe there's also some of the water somewhere. I can't remember exactly. I think it's in the back or something. Um... But, like, when you do find the metal, there's quite a lot of really good nodes. And uh, definitely the ones below are base are amazing. These ones over here are okay. And that's how we kind of get all this metal. Like, our gather rates are, you know, they're increased from official, of course. They're not insane like some other servers have been playing with. But, uh, 100%, like, it's it's legit. I mean, like, the metal's around us. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how, that's how we're getting it and everything like that. And obviously, as well, when it comes to um, having some of this gear like the uh, radiation suit we have this i don't even think we have this unlocked yet do we no i think we're past the level now where we can unlock it let me see hazard right yeah we could unlock this now which i probably will unlock but uh cheese can make the stuff for us so like when it comes to getting these these new things of like gear and and weapons and everything um it's not progressing too quick when somebody gifts it to me right i don't i don't think it is i really don't think it is honestly i've just been some seeing so many people saying that we're progressing way too quick I mean, any slower and this series would be a drag, we'd get nothing done. Like, what are we now? How many episodes? Probably more than 10 at this point. Um, and like, look what we have. You know, we, we don't have a huge amount. We have our amazing crab down there, which is handy, but you know, we don't have like the most OP stuff. We, we gotta keep working and like, we're not progressing too quick. I don't wanna get a rock drake egg tomorrow, but at some point soon we will be getting one. But you know, I don't know. Like we, we can't go any slower. <laughs> we really can't. Anyway, I'm I'm kind of babbling here. I'm gonna get the rest of this done. I'm gonna get the other zip line over there. I'll probably somehow I don't know. That looks really nice when it's lit up like that. But we're not always gonna have the glow stick over there. So I don't know. I don't really want to put like a generator over there and everything. So we'll have to see. But uh, I will fix up the other gate and um, then we'll be back. So we got our last zip line done. Uh, let's turn around. Oh, press the wrong button. There we go. So we can get back up to here, and then from here we can get back to the base, which it just makes it so much handier just getting over across the stupid lake because obviously the Ravagers still have that bug right now where you just, you drown when you're riding on them. Like, you, you lose oxygen at least, so. And they're not very fast at swimming. I know we could probably make like a bridge or something, but screw it. This is more fun. This is way more fun. Plus, look at this. This actually looks really amazing. I like the way there's just a bunch of platforms around the place. Super, super handy. There's Flinger. I wonder if he's gonna come down and check out what we did. But, um, yeah, all in all, I think the base is pretty much done. Like, our, at least our little, kind of, uh, our little home down here off to the side. But, uh, let me see. Is there anything up here that I'm kind of missing? I know there's, like, the grill and everything. I don't really feel the need to make a new grill. I guess preserving bins is probably the only thing that I could probably make. 
Yeah, we can make some of those, actually. But uh, we don't really need a grill, because um, there's one up here. We're not really... Can I grab you? There we go. We're not really going to need... Um, can I grab that? <laughs> it's so difficult sometimes. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, we need to get our, our tames down there, too. Yeah, we're not really going to need a grill. We're not really going to need a, um, a generator as well. Obviously, we could just use this one. Uh, feeding trough, mm, we could probably just do with the one up here. I think everything else is pretty standard that we can just kind of come up here whenever we need it. So, yeah, uh, we just got to move our tames down there now. So, let me see. If I could, I could probably just chuck them straight off. Or not, apparently. Hey, come here. <laughs> probably just chuck them straight off there, right? Yeah, that's going to work. Now, let me see. Um, what else is mine up here? Uh, well, we do have Winston here. Uh, Winston's over here. Winston for now. I'm going to chuck you down there. Our, this, our little platform looks a lot better than all the other platforms here. Holy crap. <laughs> that one looks amazing. Uh, what else is mine up here? I don't even know. Uh, I think we had another one of these lizards, right? Where is our one? Um, there's so many of them. <laughs> I think this is ours. Yeah, this one here is ours. And then we have the other random ones that we tamed. But I'll probably just keep these two for now. So this is a mating pair. Chuck you down there. So sweet. Yeah, we got all of our stuff then, I think. Pretty much. Cheese is just being cheese. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, so preserving bin, that's the only other thing that we can kind of make. Um, our lights definitely do a lot more than this one here, the Wally light. Let me see. Let's climb back down. I really like those omnidirectional uh, lamps. They actually really brighten up the area here. It looks a lot better. It looks amazing, actually. <laughs> Oh, I really want some of those down there now and down at the other spot, but eh, effort. Absolute effort. Right. Um, are you on your own passive? Cool. You have levels galore. Look at you, Winston, for now. Give you all those sweet levels. All right, so what should we do? We should probably, maybe let's head out for a little bit. Uh, I'll kind of like fix up my inventory. Maybe let's head out on the crab and kind of do some fun stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we are on the giant rail track here. We're gonna head to the bioluminescent area. Need to make like an easy way to get up here because I currently have to keep jumping up on top of those giant uh, mushroom thingies. But uh, yeah, we can kill some stuff on the way. <laughs> so awesome just being able to do that all the time. All right, let's do some jumps here because we're pretty slow. Like we're, we're really slow on this crab just walking around. So getting to jump all over the place really does help. We gotta make sure we don't jump off of here though, because I want to keep walking along here so I can find my way over there super easy. Alright. So, in case you're wondering, because I often get comments of where the hell are we. Here we go! Oh, that was weird. There's the coordinates right there, you can see. You can pause the video if you want, we're gonna put those away. So that's how you get to this rail track. Uh, you'll be able to see it, I mean, if you go to Portal, you'll definitely be able to see it. So, from here we can get to the bioluminescent area, which is right down there. And there's all sorts of bad guys down there. Also, there's nameless, so make sure that you have a charge creeper when you... Charge creeper? Charge critter. <laughs> wow. Creeper? Seriously? What is wrong with me? You gotta have a charged critter on your shoulder um, to be able to actually survive down here. Make sure you don't go down into the purpleness for now. Uh, it's pretty dangerous down there. Shouldn't take too much damage from this fall, hopefully. I'm no, a little bit nervous, though. <laughs> Eh, no, we're okay. Alright. Should be able to kill this crab pretty easily. So the crabs come in such cool colors. Like, what level is this dude? Probably a low level, actually. But look at those colors. He's like gray, kind of silvery gray, but he's like also orange as well. So, so cool. Also, we need to get a frog at some point. Come here, buddy. Let me see. What level are you? Uh, the best part about these guys is that you can actually dismount and keep the creatures in their claws. So. You could, you could full on uh, just bring creatures around and then just uh, kind of like put them in your claw, walk walk back to base, and then just tame them there. Super, e super easy and handy. Uh, kill that dude. I thought I saw something in the water there, like an eel or something, but uh, I don't think so. There's a couple of frogs though, and they didn't get pissed when I killed their friends. That's a little bit odd. Alright, let me see. What do we got down here? Anything... Anything to fight? Any alphas? I wouldn't mind fighting some sort of alpha crab, maybe. Possibly. I don't know. We'll have to see. I haven't, I've only seen one of those things on the map so far. I don't think they're that common. Kill this crab. 
to level 35. These things are tough, seriously. Like, they do a lot of damage, but they also take a lot of damage. I mean, like... Holy crap. Die, dude. Alright. What do we got? Uh, we can head into the water, but I don't really want to. What is that? Is that a Sarko or a Barry? Looks like a Sarko. Uh, Barry Onyx don't seem to... Oh my god, look at that crab! <laughs> He's like... He wants me. He wants my... He wants my face. Get away. Level 10 crab. He's trying to mount me. No means no. Get off me. <laughs> no. Get off. Stupid crab. Oh, he broke my torch. Uh, Alright, here we go. Pop another one of those guys on. Sweet. Love how that's in my face. That's great. Uh, what else we got over here? That's a uh, baryonyx over there. We got some more... Um, Krabby's over here. Kill this life with Kallus. What do we got down there? Oh, we got some Lamprey down there. Those things are... Those things are bad. Don't want to mess with those. They're essentially just kind of eels. Or not eels, uh, le leeches even. There we go, that's the word. Words, brain. I wish it worked. Okay. What do we got, level 20? You're dead. So yeah, even the low level crabs are super hard to kill. That dude's dead. Nice. Oh, these rocks look so cool. Apparently, also, these rocks yield metal. I, I don't want to hop off and try, but apparently they do, so. Take my word for it if you want. Uh, we cannot pick up Megalosaurus, so we don't want to mess with that dude. Also, those things are pretty tough, so I don't want to mess with them in general. Uh, pick up this, uh... Come here. Kill this, this, kill this crab with these guys. Oh, this one's got, like, purple on him. See that? That looks amazing. All right, come on, buddy. Oh wow! Hey, we, we're just getting grab banged. Get, get away! Stop! Yeah. What level is this one back here? Actually, just killing both at the same time. This one back here is a lower level, isn't it? Level ten or something, right? Level twenty. Nice. Also, we're getting all of the polymer, which is great. See, so yeah, a polymer on this map is not going to be an issue. Like, you can get organic polymer uh, for pretty much anything. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, I thought that had, like, an alpha glow. That was terrifying. See, the uh, there was a rock drake back there. There he is, level 20. Oh, let's go kill him. I've killed a couple so far. They're pretty easy to kill. Alright. Hop right up to this dude and kill him. He seems to be kind of... <laughs> what are you doing?! All right, okay, bye. Oh, we gotta follow you now. No! Betrayed by a cliff. Damn it. Get the stupid crab. Try to steal his rock drake friend, so he's, he's a little bit peeved. What level are you? Uh, probably a low level. Hey, look, some nameless. The nameless have come to play. Get off my face. You can pick up the nameless as well, which is great. It's definitely great for killing these alpha nameless. They didn't get in really close to you, and you can't really hit them too easily. Alright, now this one's alpha. Stop burping on me. I don't like it. Alright, let's do this. Should be able to hurt them more now. Yeah, stop burping! Alright, we're good. What do we got? Alright. Let's pick up this iguanodon. Hey, there's the rock thing. Die! Yes! Yeah, super low level, should be easy to kill. Very, very nice colors on him though, seriously. I can't wait to get a rock drake. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I I would love to rush to it, but I don't even think we'd be able to. What level is this Anki? I do notice an issue here where if you, if you have this dude, you can't really check the levels of what's in the claws unless you dismount. Well, 65, that's a poopy Anki. Pick up the Sarko and kill the Anki and the Sarko together as one. Alright, I'm gonna kill that Lystro now, apparently it's two. Uh, oh, Baryonyx, so cool looking. Um, hmm. Is there anything else around? I mean, we got some more crabs. Like, crabs are just freaking everywhere. Like, finding a high level crab is not going to be difficult when they're just absolutely everywhere. Die. 
Extra. Get off my face. Alright. Okay, let's kill this, uh, snack. Let's kill this crab as well, I guess. Die! Level 70. I love this guy. He's not coming for me. They don't like each other. They're having a fight. Alright. One thing I'd love to be able to do is, like, pull the angler fish and the eels and everything out of the water, but unfortunately you can't. You can't use the crab to do that to those creatures. I mean, that would mean that you could insta-kill them, which would be really cool, but unfortunately you just can't. Really sucks. And you are dead. Like, look how, look how long it took to take down that level 70. I mean, sure it was mate boosted, but god damn, this guy looks amazing. He's got like purple uh, little fangs or whatever you call those. I don't know if crabs really have fangs. I don't, I don't know the crab lingo. Alright. Keep that guy up. You gonna stun me? I, it doesn't seem to want to. I, I don't... I think I think that's probably... Probably good. I don't think it can. I mean, hopefully it can't. I really like that. But, uh... I mean, we saw right there. It didn't try to get me, so I'm just gonna take that as a as a maybe. <laughs> All right. So anyway, guys. Hey, tags online or tags offline now. Actually, never mind. Anyway, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more like this, you can subscribe, of course. And uh, as always, I will catch you in the next one. Alright, stupid. Where? Get out of here.